What is up, YouTube? It's Mike Jamlin here, coming at you with another episode of the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Co-op Egglock with Lantern Joe. In the last episode, we took on Byron and won, but that's because we are way OP. So, like I said in the last episode, no grinding for the next gym. Well, look hard. But we are just gonna be on our way and come to the Kimberly Library and all that. All the like trio stuff before we head up to Snow Point and fight Candace. I'm gonna try not to hit the speed up button at all this episode. <clears throat> Who's there? Over here, this way. My throat's still kind of sore, so that's not crappy. Okay, Gramps, I brought Sarah, like I said. I'll be out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here for me. Sarah, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear in most Pokemon that evolve, and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? And do those that are immature as living beings evolve into ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the lakes, in the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex! And who was it that who was it that both of you lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You bet, Professor! This, this will add to the Pokedex database and help advance your research! Hmm. I would have made you all, all of you go regardless. Anyway. Now, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir! Zach, I want you to investigate Lake Accuity. That would take you almost to the city. The road there is harsh, so I need a tough train to go. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, don't you know how to call it? You can tell them the hotness. And let me set Lake Valley. The lake is between Bellstore and Pastoria, if memory serves. And the earthquake. Has it stopped? Or are you on hand? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Blah, I'm done, I'm done voice acting. I'm, I'm done voice acting, my throat hurts. <sighs> okay, I'll speed this up because it's. The annoying process of me getting my HM slave.
G, Maximana. Anyways, you guys, let's get going. We are up to Pastoria City, and I will be back in a moment. Need to uh, shut my door because my sister doesn't know how to shut my door. Fuck up, I'm recording. So I will be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to, uh, fix my freaking computer because it decided to crash on me. But, yeah, we're here in Pastorio, so we're on our way to Lake Valor. Stupid computer. I want to shoot it so badly. Because I was hoping this would be an episode where I didn't have to have two different freaking parts of a video. So we're just gonna hurry our way up to uh, the lake. And we're at the lake, so now I'm gonna slow it back down. And it's a galactic run, so we're just gonna speed it up because I hate fighting them because they're annoying little bitches. All these grunts, get away! I swear, I hope Sparks stays alive for the Elite Four. Alright, we made it here. There's no Azel, sadly. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in an earlier episode, but for roaming Pokemon like Mesprit and Cresselia, it doesn't matter what route I find them on, I'm gonna catch them and swap them for, swap them for eggs. And like I said before the computer crashed, my throat hurts still, so I'm not gonna voice act anymore today. This is a little loud. We're just gonna take on Saturn? I think this is Saturn. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the name. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is Saturn. Uh I'm sorry guys, I'm just like Bleh. We're gonna send a Nihon against his toxic croak. Cause poison fighting is four times weak against psychic. And we're just gonna take out his team, and we're gonna speed up the death animation. And yeah, so it takes forever. I'm gonna speed up this last bit of the battle because it's just it's taking forever to kill this. It's gonna take forever to kill. Never mind. Okay, so we killed off Saturn's team. So now we gotta head up to Lake Verity. Double battle! If 
firefighting the Silk Hoon Psychic on the Gromia. I like how Niho now speeds Sparks, and Sparks is the fastest member of my team. I think. Let me check out their speed stats. 96. 102? And yet my, my fastest is my Garchomp. Wow. I thought Sparks was faster out of all of them. And, um... We're gonna do a permanent party change. Because Unlawful Exile made me just laugh a lot last night. So, once we reach the Pokemon Center, we will be depositing... We'll probably deposit humor. Because I want to keep Shadow with us. And here's who we deposited just for the temporary HM sleep. But I want to take... Liam, I want to take the Zubat just because Unlawful Exile made me laugh last night when I was talking with him on Twitter. And yeah. Besides, how many people go through the final battles of the games with Golbat slash Crobat? Blah 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 blah, you are annoying, you are annoying. Blah 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 blah. You're also annoying. Sorry, Professor, but you are. Okay, so. To get up to some point, I have to start from the arena! And. You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. We are forgetting something. I want you. And I want you. But you know what I just realized we forgot to go do? Which name is legal. Ooh! Fuck yeah! You know what I realized we forgot to go do, you guys? We forgot to go pick up strength from the Lost Tower, so... Liam, can you learn fly? Yes! I will gladly ditch Leech Life on you to fly without having to get our HM Slave. We're gonna head back to Slay Sound Town real fast. I'm just gonna speed through that. Because it's not important. All we need to do is get strength from up there. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? This is the perfect time to start training Liam. Because I will do every single battle in here. To work my way up with Liam. I want a gold bat as soon as possible. So don't be surprised if we do end up having a small grinding session for Liam. So I want I want to use him. I want to have a powerful. I want to get a Crobat. I want to take on the final battles with a Crobat.
Liam is almost the point where he can hold his own up here. I'm gonna be totally stupid, I'm gonna put Liam. Fist double battle. That was a risky move, why did I do that? This Quince tag sucks. That was supposed to keep away the lot Pokemon. Maybe it just keeps away the ghost types. But that wasn't bad. We went from level 1 to level 14 with Liam. Okay, so now that we know strength, we're gonna go back up. You know, you know, I'm not gonna teach. Con I'm not gonna teach strength to any of my normal teammates. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out combat the Machop, and we'll temporarily deposit Shadow. Let's go! Let's get going! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Strength isn't bad. It's Rock Smash Line, I don't want to teach anyone, but you know what? I don't use synthesis anyway, so let's get rid of it. I have to gen in some uh, heart scales so I can reteach the right moves to certain Pokemon. I will deal with the fog. It's you I will deal with run right away. And we made it up to Route 216, which is a new encounter area, so let's go find some grass. Hmm. 
We have a snowbird. Team is fully relaxed. Okay. I just want to get all the lake stuff done in this episode. And now the blizzard. I can't see anything. <laughs> the golden ice vein. Snow ice type moves get powered up in the. I don't know. Fucking sand stream, bye bye. Pepper! Pepper! Is this an item or a ninja? It's a ninja. Okay. Just send out your fucking Pokemon. I'm just trying to get up to the lake. I'm also trying to find. Oh. Iron. Where's the... It's right here. Found an HMO8 rock gun! Should be this way. Yep. Even if it's not though, we got an encounter, we got a med jam. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And that's where we evolve Eevee if we have if we decide to evolve our Jappy into a Glaceon. What's in here? Spell tag. Okay. Still at G17, but we're almost to the lakefront. That'd be smart of me to heal. <sighs> poison point. So far, we're getting lucky and not dealing with poison point. And we're at Acuity Lakefront! I'll just spam. There we go. So that's three ki- that's three happy- that's three hatches this episode, you guys. Woohoo!
I think we have to take on Candace first, so we will do that real fast. But first things first, heal up. Let's drop combat back in the box. Actually, let's, let's do the hatches. Okay, so last episode we did a bunch from up here. So this episode we'll go from second box, first row. Vermont. <laughs> Let's see what Vermont is. Oh my! Dirt wig! Okay, Vermont, that's not bad. That's not bad. I might use Vermont later on. I might train Vermont up in a grinding session. Uh, let's stick with box two for one more. Hades. What could Hades possibly be? Ooh, snap! It's a Spiritomb! So I saw someone comment on another Egglock uh, video that someone did that Spiritomb shouldn't have genders, and I was just like, uh, yeah, it does. And we'll go to Boxy for the last egg. We'll go from the bottom row, and we will take we will take you, Repel. So We'll put we'll the question mark. That makes me think stunky. Oh, oh, dupes claws. We already have a zoo that, but we will give it its nickname. I was expecting a stunky. All right, let's deposit it in the dead box because we can't use it. Dupes claws. And let's take Sneasel, we'll stay in this box, we'll go up row that one. Nocturne. Not bad, not bad. Either someone knows I like ghost types a lot, or I just got really lucky. That is not bad. Oh, he didn't stay shiny. Did that Zubat stay shiny? No. Apparently we need to learn how to use the uh, Pokegen to make him stay shiny. Okay. Nihon Salad. I will keep using Haunter, and if Haunter dies, we will swap them out for Hades. Or Nocturne. Probably Hades, though, because Hades is a beast. And if Salad dies, we'll take Vermont. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, we got some good replacements, you guys. And Liam is just sitting in our team, just leveling like nothing. So let's go take on. Actually, you know what? You know what? This episode's getting kind of long. So we're going to end it off here, you guys. We'll take on the gym leader in the next episode. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment what I can do to improve. Uh, make sure to answer the question of the day. And subscribe if you want to catch the next episode, you guys. Peace out.